Why hello there rangers and rogues alike, Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy and today I'm going to go through my digital painting process that I've been using to draw out this new comic and specifically we're going to draw a nerbal. What's a nerbal you say? Well, I don't know where you've been but you should check out cowabungacomics.space and uh, you'll find out that they're pretty much these guys. So let's get started. It's a really simple process. I'm going to take you through the whole thing. So let's start make a new document. I like to go into inches because I th I'm thinking about printing. If you um, And I like the high resolution. 72 pixels per inch is the uh, standard resolution you're going to want if you're only going to show it on your computer screen. But if you want to print it out, the standard re resolution is 300. Uh, RGB means red, green, blue color mode, and that is preferable if it's only going to show on your monitor. But again, if you're going to print it out, CMYK is the preferred color mode. And um, the thing is, if you choose CMYK, you're not going to get as vivid colors, like your really bright neon colors. You can't kind of you can't print that, so it uh, kind of dulls things out. But I actually prefer that personally. Cool. So, now we've got a blank canvas to work with, and this whole thing is going to take place on like three layers, and we're only going to use the standard paintbrush, and it's going to be very simple. So, the first thing we'll do is make one layer, and I'm going to call this Sketch. So, Nurbel's got these big old eyes. I like to choose a color. I like personally to make, you can do any color, um, but I like a, a kind of a desaturated grayish color and actually I'm going to make it kind of dark because now I'm going to turn on the opacity and I'm working here I've got a tablet you really should get one of these this is a Wacom Intuos 3 and I just looked it up and they're a hundred bucks now I got this like like 10 12 years ago I took it from America to Egypt and back and I didn't take good care of it at all and it's still working for me so it's a great investment um, so yeah, the first sketch can be like super rough. We're gonna make a little one-eyed nerbal. Nerbals can come in one to five. Uh, they can have one to five eyes. And uh, usually I'll round out the bottom, but uh, I actually want to using this nerbal for a specific purpose, and I want the bottom to be flat. It's more like graphic-y, so I'm gonna do that. But the point is, you can sketch whatever you want, but you should be sketching a nerbal because they're pretty much the coolest. We got a little big guy like that, and then the two little arms. These are actually uh, prehensile breasts, but they function as arms for the nerval. So that's it. You got your basic sketch. What I'm going to do then is I made a new layer. There's a little button down here to create a new layer, and I think you can do it up there too. Layer here, whatever. Figure out all those that on your. Uh... Okay, and this is going to be called line. Okay, so we got sketch. The opacity is right here. You're going to turn that down so it's not in the way that much, okay? Then you're going to go to the line layer, and you got to remember which layers you're on. That's one of the things. And uh, so the nerbal's green, so I'm going to choose, you know what, whatever. I'll just stick with the blue. I'll show you, it's cool. It doesn't matter what colors you pick, because I'll show you how you can change the colors on the fly. So I like to make it really big. And then, uh, oops, now you want to turn the opacity off. At 100%, I'm just using a regular brush the whole time, uh, the standard one, and I make it bigger and smaller with the hot keys. They're the brackets, make it bigger and smaller. That's a great hot key to know. All right. So then you're just gonna draw it to a little Oops. Lagging a little bit. I got a couple other files open. I should have closed those. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what uh, it was going to look like. So look, I can make it really rough. Um, I don't like this lag. My computer's struggling. I can feel the fan. He's like, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Like a little choo-choo train. Alright. I'm done talking about my crazy computer fan. Alright, I'm not going to worry about this too much because I don't want to take a lot of time, but the point is you can uh, erase away, you know, you just kind of like sculpt it. 
I think of drawing a lot of times as sculpture now, and that helps a lot. So it's like when I make a drawing and like I don't get the nose right, instead of being like, oh, I have to erase it and sort of, I'm like, no, I'm going to sculpt it. So I'm going to pretend like I just moved the nose over this way if that's where it needs to go or whatever. Um, and then these two little guys. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I want this to be sharp. So one thing when I want a sharp point, I just erase it out like that. Let's say. I don't know why I want it to be sharp. I don't, because he's a soft character, so all these little things are around. All right, that should be good enough. Like round this out. All right. Now we're like 50% done with the whole process. So the next step is you're going to create another layer. And this one's going to be called color. But here's a trick. Color is going to go underline. Underline. That's the way you can remember. And then turn off sketch. You don't need to see that anymore. All right. Now we're just going to color it in like it's a coloring book. So nurbles are green. They can range from a warm yellow green to a cool tropical green. Um I'm thinking I don't know. Well like I said, we can change it. So I'm gonna go somewhere here. Let's try with that. And then I just usually make it pretty big. Oops. See that's how you know you're on the wrong layer. Come over down here to color. Color underneath it. Alright, color this guy in. Erase out the little parts to get over. And see, since you're doing it on a separate layer underneath, then you can erase away the parts you want. And so even though the Nurbles eye is white, oh, one thing that I learned recently, I started to do and really was helpful, is to make another layer with a dark color underneath. So let's make it like a dark reddish color. It'll be fun, I think. Cooler reds. Like, I like it to be saturated. Alright. Actually, maybe more of a middle. No, okay. Anyways, it has to be kind of dark. But, um, and I'm going to call this, I usually don't call it anything. I'm going to leave it as layer one. I'm trying to make it all organized for you guys. You should be as organized as you need to be. But, I, I don't know. So, basically, it's just like a, a background layer. See, look. See how I made this little nick? Instantly, it shows up. If I don't have that on... I mean, it's still visible, but when there's little tiny ones, and like here, I was going to color it white, and that's important, because you'll see in the next step, I'm going to do one more layer, last layer, I promise, is going to be shadow, and um, that's how you're going to get the final, like, effect. Ooh, no, I, I take back that promise. Oops, I shouldn't have promised, I'm sorry. Um, there's going to be another layer after that. <laughs> but it's really not that crazy. Alright, so I'm still on the color layer, I'm coloring this in. Good stuff. That little nick's bothering me, so I'm gonna go on the line layer. Come here with my eraser, make it a little smaller. Smooth that out. Alright. Cool. And then the inside of the eye, oops, and then the inside of the color. It's uh, you've got little pink eyes. And that's actually not an eyeball, but the inside of their mouth, where their nurble resides. Um this, oh, holy smokes, that's a guy nurbling out. See down here? That's bad news. Well, no, anyways, you'll have to read the comic to know what that's about. So, just color this little dude in. Um, and then, I told you guys I'd tell you how to change color. Now, I've done already too much with him to change colors, but I'll show you the basic idea. So, the line, if I want to change the color of the line, I go to here, right-click on this layer, blending options and then click this button right here color overlay you'll see here you have the option it's going to turn it red I can go in here and experiment like hmm okay cool Chris like I can make them all Christmassy that'd be great if I want to make a nurbel Christmas card for my uh, good friend you know it's a loving gesture what other we can make a green more faded look and the other thing you can do and I'll show you something cool. So let's say I'm like, okay, let's do the doo -doo -doo, right? I can actually, it's an effect that's on top of the layer, so I can turn it off at any time. I can click it right here, double click maybe, and I can adjust it at any time. And um, the other thing I can do is I can turn off this effect, because if I turn it on and I do anything, you won't see it because it's on top of all that. 
So I'll turn off the effect if I want to do this. And look, this button right here locks transparency. That means that, look, if I turn this all off, everything that's transparent, that's white, it won't be affected anymore. So, um, so now I can come in with a paintbrush if I want. And I can make, like, let's say I want to make it this part green. And so I can color it in like this. Hold on, I'm going to duplicate the layer to do this. Oops. So I can come right back. No, it's okay. Alright. So anyways, the point is I can color it in like that, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then I could do like, well, let's make, uh, a lot of people I think do this kind of stuff to soften up the, the style. So you know, I can make that like that. And then this, I might want it to be a thing. Oops. Well, I don't want to color it all in because then I'll have to uh, come back. Should we keep this nurable this way? All right, let's do it. Why not? Now let me just do what I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna get too experimental on this video. I just want to show you guys what I've been doing. So this is my style, but you can go that direction if you want. So just color it all back in that one color, and then see. I still have this if I want it. I know. So cool. So now let's show you how to do a shadow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create another layer right here. That little button. Boom. Shadow. I'm going to right click it, I'm going to go create clipping mask. What that's going to do is it means that anything, it's only going to paint, look how ugly that is without this. But no one ever sees that, so it's all good. Except for you. Oh no, what have I done? Um, it's only going to paint on top of this, so watch. I'm going to grab a color, and you can choose any color for your shadows. So, if the light source is warm, then your shadows are going to be cool. If the light source is cool, then your shadows going to be warm. What's this guy lit by? I feel like maybe like some moonlight, so we'll have like a warm shadow because the light's more cool. Let's try that out. And again, this is something you can change. So, let's go with like, uh, oh, in the background, this color. Let's try that out. Okay. A little more saturated because I want it to be a little more fun bumping up. And then, what I like to do actually is I just take my paint bucket and I color this whole layer. Boom. Look at that. Oh no. Here's where you lower the opacity. And I go to multiply. See how that in setting kind of enhances the colors. It mixes it with the colors. While normal, it just like a layer over it like you're looking through a glass. I don't know. Anyways, this preserves more of the colors. And then look if I turn it on. So usually I would never turn the line off. I just wanted to show you what was going on. But um but usually I would just put it on, boom, like this. And then you're going to come in with the eraser tool. So I'm using the, the tablet, so I choose, I select this, and then I just flip it over to go erase. But in case you're not using a tablet, then you can click erase here. And uh, I'm going to make it bigger. And so let's say the lighting source is coming from here, from this corner. So then I'm just going to erase away the part where the light hits. Okay. Okay. Like, let's. I'll just do it. And then, when I want to, I can go back to. I have to remember this color. The other thing is, if I select it from here, this color is changed. So one of the smart things to do is to make a. I sometimes just do it on the color layer right here, and then I'm gonna erase it at the end. And that worked. Oh, because I'm on the eraser tool. So like now I have that shadow. I can always sample it again with the eyedropper, and then it'll it'll be that the color I need for the shadow. In case I go and do something different, like go to a different color. Alright, so I'm going to shadow, so let's keep erasing out the parts I want the light to be hitting. You know, it can be rough at this point. Alright, cool, that's basically it. Um, and then let me, and then I'm going to turn and come back to my color over here. Oops. It doesn't look the same. And I'll lose it. Alright, here's a perfect opportunity for me to show you the use of the blending option. So somehow the color is slightly different. I can see it there. So I'm going to, um, unless, is my opacity on? No, it's not. So I'm going to go into here, blending options. I'm going to create a uh, clipping, no, I'm going to uh, color overlay. So you made the whole thing, oh, will that work? Multiply. 
think that's going to work. Uh, is it making it extra dark? No, I don't think that's working. Alright, so here's another thing we're going to learn. So to find this perfect color that I want, first I'm going to erase this because I got it wrong. Oh, I didn't get it wrong. You see what's happening? This, uh, the shadow is on top of the color layer. That's why it should be on its own layer on the top of everything. So it's not being affected. This Photoshop stuff. I thought this was going to be a super simple tutorial. Like, I was like, oh yeah, it's a super basic method. There are some little things. But we only use like two or three tools. But anyway, so you have to turn off this layer so nothing's affecting. You see it got lighter. Then I'm going to hold down Option and click to do the eyedropper tool or you can click here for the eyedropper and then I'm going to turn the shadow back on and I'm going to come over this oops I've got to select the shadow layer and come over this there now it's all seamless okay oh, stressing out over here all right gotta relax okay cool so let's just finish off uh, this drawing real quick so I'm not loving this color I'm going to make it lighter a little bit and I might go back and try to. Anyways, we're getting really close to finishing this guy. So I'm going to erase this. I don't think I need it. Right? And, um. Alright, and then the last little touch you're going to want to. You can do. What I like to do is put a new layer on top of everything, or it can be on the under the line if that's what you prefer. And I'm gonna call this layer details, and uh, and that's just for a little extra pizzazz. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna add a little bit of shine. Oops. And so now that gives, makes me want to. Oops. Brush B, make it big. See now I'm coming back into shadow and I'm like, all right, that shadow needs to be way bigger. And if I had more time, I would come, oh, see, now I lost that little swatch. I shouldn't have done it. I knew I shouldn't have, but I did it anyway. So now i got to remember 23%. Go up here. Go to normal. Click it. Go back to multiply. Go down to 23. Okay. And we pray that we got the right color. Where was I coming in? I just want to come in a little shot here. Alright, I forgot that you guys are watching and probably don't care about me getting this perfect. Just want to figure out the end of this tutorial. So I'm going to wrap it up real soon. Go back to the details layer. And you can zoom in. Alright. Get like a little scoop. These guys are so shiny and soft. You want to you wanna love them. So yeah, dude. If you guys are curious what the heck these things are. And what it means to nerble out. And why they're the nerbliest. And what this is about, then you gotta go to cowabungacomics.space, yes, dot space, like outer space, and then you're gonna read some articles, a review about how I learned to stop worrying and love my nerbal. And you can read O'Brien's journal entry about he's a salesman over here who sells these nerbals. Where's this buddy right here? Mr. O'Brien. And um, you can have a lot of fun. So, also check out our Facebook page. You can search for Cowbunga Comics um, on Facebook. Alright, that's it. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. And don't forget to nerble out at least 24 hours a day.